Fuck it. We're playing zombies because I'm too fucking stressed out to play multiplayer. I've said in countless videos, white people just need to be fucking wiped out. And it's only getting fucking worse. Not a single good thing comes from white people. Ask any feminists, all we do is rape. And then there's some fucking shit like this. You know what, before I start, I just want to say, if there are any extremists out there, you know, Hitler type people, on behalf of all white people, I give you full permission to brand us and fucking exterminate us like the Jews. You have full permission to fucking kill us all. Now, if you don't know what I'm on about, let me just fucking show you. Now, I wish that was fucking fake. I really do. This guy has over 100,000 followers on Twitter. He's literally fucking verified. Twitter won't verify fucking Nuda, but they verify some cunt asking for fucking chicken nuggets. Guarantee it was a fucking white person that gave it the go-ahead. The only mildly good thing that's come out of it is he got 100k donated to charity. I mean, fair enough, he did get that done. But this bloke is literally fucking rich and famous for asking for nuggets on social media. He's been on the Ellen show. I mean, just look at this picture of him. He looks like a fucking spastic anyway. You know, some people might say I'm being a bit fucking jealous. And I mean, you're not fucking wrong. So I have seen countless amounts of these tweets. People tweet every fast food company, random clothes companies, shit like that. And they're like, hey, how many retweets for this? And they don't blow up in the slightest. A couple of thousand retweets at most, maybe. Why the fuck has this bloke randomly got 3.5 million retweets? Like, it has gone down in history as the most retweeted tweet on Twitter. A bloke asking for fucking nuggets is the most retweeted tweet in history. You know what it was before that? It was an iconic picture from fucking Ellen, whatever the fuck her last name is. And it was actually a meaningful picture that could have, like, would have been good as a part of history. It's a bunch of famous people. You know, people that have accomplished something in life. People that worked for, like, the success they have. And I think that's a pretty good thing to have as a part of history. But no, big old Cart Carter fucking Wilkinson here. This curly haired looking awkward cunt has for some reason taken over fucking Twitter with his nuggets. This guy literally did a fucking meet and greet. Do you understand that? I don't know why the fuck you want to go meet him, but people literally go and meet a guy who asked for nuggets on Twitter. Like, I, I don't understand that. Why the fuck would you want to go and meet a guy who asked for nuggets on social media? Can somebody explain that? Because I don't get it. Like, people traveled to go and meet him and take fucking pictures with a bloke who asked for nuggets. And you know, call me crazy, but that's just not my type of thing. It's always fucking white people. We do shit like this and we just, oh, just it just pisses me off. Like, I thought we were better than this, but apparently not. So if you haven't guessed already, Nugs for Carter bloke don't really like him. I mean, that's not him personally, he does look a bit of a prick. It's not, you know, it's not really his fault. It's just white people who make this shit famous. And we need to stop. Right, anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you don't like this Nugs for Carter bloke, also drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, I'm about to fucking die. And I'll see you in the next video.